gather your thoughts in. This morning we've been thinking about all kinds of things. Now it's a good time to think about the breath. Take a couple of good long deep in and out breaths to have a sense of where you feel it. When you're breathing in, do you feel it only at the nose or do you feel it in other parts of the body? There's the rise of the chest, sometimes the rise of the abdomen, the shoulders. Notice where you feel the process of the breathing. And notice whether it's tense or whether it's relaxed. If it's tense, think of it, the tension dissolving away. So you can keep that tension dissolved all the way through the in-breath, all the way through the out. This is called getting in touch with the, the pleasure that comes not from sensuality, but from form. We inhabit the form of the body from the inside and explore how that feels. You'll find there are areas where there's a tightness or a tension or a sense of blockage or something's not quite right. Well, think of the breath going through and dissolving those problems. In some cases it may work immediately, other cases it takes time. But this gives you a handle for dealing with issues that come up inside. Because all too often we're concerned with the world outside, and the world inside we barely notice unless we're sick or something. We don't have much of a vocabulary to describe what's going on inside the body. The Buddha talks about the different elements, and to us it may sound like medieval chemistry. But actually he's talking about the way your body feels from within. He's giving you a vocabulary to describe these sensations, They're the solid sensations, the liquid sensations, the warm sensations, sensations of energy, that's breath. There's a sense of space which surrounds the body and go all the way through. You can focus on any of these. So the breath is the best one to focus on first because it's the one most responsive to the mind. And when you can develop a sense of well-being in here, then the pleasures you tend to look for outside take less and less importance. They weigh less on the mind. They are less and less likely to pull you away from your center because you've got a good center to be in. And so this changes the balance of power in the mind. Things outside have less power. Your powers of concentration gain more power. They provide a better foundation for your insights and, and discernment to grow strong. So try to work with these sensations in the body. Get a sense of what the Buddha is talking about. The breath going through the body or the fire element, the warmth going through the body. And then you can learn to use these concepts to be really helpful. So the mind is less likely to go for immediate pleasures outside and is more willing to stick with the practice that's going to take a longer time but gives even greater well-being at the end. Because you've got this source of well-being right now that you can tap into whenever you want. 